Yep, for all the people been asking what book I'm using, this is the book. <laughs> William H. Hyatt Jr. Engineering Circuit Analysis. That's the eighth edition. I don't know if they have a newer one or not. So hopefully they answer all the emails I keep getting. What book are you using? So we got this problem here. And the question for this, find the total, okay. Energy stored. Notice M is not given to us. Energy stored in the passive. Network at T equals if K equals point six. And this is terminal A and B if they are left open. Or X and Y, I guess. A and B, X and Y, whatever you want to call it. And terminals, here we go. X and Y are option one here, what? Left open. That means there's no ISIP 2 coming in. And option B, short circuit. Well, last video or last class we said the total energy stored is one half L1, that's a half here, one half L I1 squared plus one half L2 I2 squared plus M I1 I sub 2. So when it's open, we'll deal with that shortly. I just need to know what M is first. When it's open, there's no I sub 2, so this piece is gone. So you have this and that. Well, I sub 2 is gone. So we'll see what that number. First, I need to know what M is. Well, K which is the coupling coefficient is always equal to m divided by the square root of L1 times L2. That tells me m equals k times the square root of L1 times L2. So I can find what m, the mutual inductance for this coil here. No, I said, before I said M is less than or equal to, right? So before I said M is less than or equal to the square root of L1, L2. The maximum value M will have is the square root of L1 times L2. That means K is really 1. The coupling coefficient, the maximum value K between 0 and 1 here, by the way, for this one is K is between 0 and 1. So when k is 1, you have m equals the square root of L1 times L2. When it's 0, m is 0. And somewhere in between, that's the value of m. So in this example, k happens to be 0 0.6. L1 times L2. L1 is what? 0.4 Henry. And L2 is going to be 2.5 Henry. So you multiply them together, take the square root, then a 0.6 there, and we have the value for m.
That's 1 times 0 0.6, which is 0 0.6 Henry. So the mutual inductance is 0.6 Henry. So let's look at the first case, which is we have an open circuit. If, they have, if we have an open circuit, this is what we're looking at. And I'm going to change everything to phaser already. This is, will be two angles zero. There is no shift here. I forgot to write the value of R on the top, which is what, three? Three. J omega L. Omega is 10. You can see it right here. 10 times 0.4, which is what? 4J. Twenty five J and the mutual inductance, which is point six, so J Omega M, and that's J six or six J. Uh, is it on top? The first one they give to us? Yes, it's on the top. first one was the dot was given to us on the top now this is part a where you have an open circuit so if I do KVL in this loop right here I know what I sub 1 I sub 1 is what? Two angles. I can't really do KVL because that's the current source. I thought it was a voltage first. But I know what I sub 1. There is no I sub 2. That's an open circuit. This is 0. So if you go to your equation here and plug them in, energy is what? 1 half. L1, I sub 1. Well, L1, so we know what I sub 1 as a function of time. So I sub 1 as a function of time is going to be what? 2 cosine 10t. So it's going to be 1 half times L1. L1 is what? 0.4 times 2 cosine 10 t squared plus one half L2. L2 happens to be what? 2.5 times the current I sub 2 squared which is 0 plus the mutual inductance which is what? 0.6 times the current which is 0 and you squared it. 2 times 2, that's 4. 4 times 0.2, is that 0.8? Cosine squared 10t. So that we want it, this is as a function of time. They want it at 0. 0.8 cosine squared 0. Well, what's cosine of 0? 1 squared of that's a 1 times a 0.8 that's 0.8 joules that's when it's open circuit what about once the short circuit? I 
I need to find what I sub 2 is. So for short circuit, let me redraw my circuit. So part B here, we have a short circuit. So my circuit looks like this. I'll draw them in time domain. I'll draw the circuit in time domain. And I'll switch it to phaser. That's a three. That's 0.4 Henry. That's 2.5 Henry. This is where the short circuit comes in right there. And this is the 0.6 Henry. If we change it to phaser, this is two angle zero. Bless you. This is three. This will be 4J, we said, right? Because W is 10. 10 times 0.4 is 4J. Oh, put the dot on the bottom instead of the top again. That dot here was on the top. The dot here on the bottom. This is 2.5J. And this is point or 6J, which is 0.6 times 10, which is 6J, the mutual inductance. I know this current. This is two angle zero. Yes. You switch over to phaser, shouldn't the uh, 2.5J become 25J? Yes. What do I have? 2.5? We did that early. <laughs> we had 25, I guess I just sort of drawing value. Thank you. <laughs> 25J. If I can find that current here. I do it in any direction where it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I can find that current, I'll be okay. Well, how do we find that current? What do you want to do? Oh, you want to find the equivalent? Yeah. You could. I'm going to say, hey, watch, why not just change this to a T configuration? And I could. Nothing really wrong with it. I'll look at it both ways. I like what you said there. Omar. But now, if I just do a KVL here, some of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. What do we have here? We have only that inductor. So if I block this one, because that's not attached to it, if I block the first one, what are you seeing there? Let me block it with a piece of paper. If I block this one, some of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. What do we have? We have 25J times I sub 2. Equals zero. But I'm not done with it. Because there's the mutual inductance. The mutual inductance, let me uncover it now. We got 6J times I sub 1. Now here's the good question. What's the sign? Yes. Let's look and see. Let's look at I sub 1. Which way is I sub 1 traveling? It's traveling this way. It's going to mark this dot positive. This is minus. I sub 1 is going down this way, so this is plus, that's minus. My dot on the first L, on the first inductor, is positive, which means the mutual inductance, the dot, will always match. It's going to make it a plus here. It's going to make it a minus there. So that's an addition. 
Well, it's going to mark the dot positive, and when I was traveling this way through this circuit, I'm going plus to minus, right? Yeah. So the dot actually is going to be in the same direction, so that's why it's positive. So what I, looked, I looked at I2 first is as I'm going through I sub 2, I sub 2 is marking this end positive and that end minus because you're traveling this way. And look at the effect of the mutual inductance in the same direction. Can you see it in red? Plus to minus. So that's the same as I sub 2 marking it. Okay, so, okay. Would there ever be a case where one goes plus to minus and then the other one goes minus to plus? Mm, I don't think so. You got, that, I mean... I mean, I mean, oh, I mean this one? Yeah. Oh, sure. I can make the current go about backward. Oh, okay. yeah, that the oh, okay. I thought you meant like in one side of the equation here, plus when this is minus. No, if I put the dot, for example, on the top here, right? If I, if I took the second one, put the dot on the top, that tells me the dot will be a plus. It will be a plus here and minus down here, and that becomes a minus. Sure. Yeah, I just misunderstood the question. So now that's my equation. I know what I sub 1 is. 2 angle 0. Can I find I sub 2? Yeah. So I can drop the J's out mathematically. 25 I sub 2 equals what? Negative 6 I sub 1. If I drop the J's out. What's I sub 2? Negative 6 over 25 I sub 1. And what's that? Negative 0.24? I sub 1? I sub 1 happens to be 2. Is that negative 4.8? Or negative 0.48? Angle 0. The negative really is, it's positive 4.48 angle 180. Plus or minus doesn't matter. Plus 180 or minus 180 is the same thing. So the minus sign is a phase shift of 180 degrees. Yes? Uh, what if Why is it not good? It's a color. Uh, could you just like flip your uh, clarity of that I2 current and just make it positive? I could. So could I do that like on a test? Like if I you make I2 go going this way? Then you have to put a minus here. Right. And I'll just like... Mix Wait, also and then make it equal to each other. Yeah. It'll make a difference. I, I can assign my direction. Yep. I guess he's, he's asking is it would it be easier if you made it too positive? Or I mean, if you think the minus sign is going to make the problem easier. I'm just saying it looks like yeah. it's overkill when you're adding that 180 just to make it positive again. Well, the, if, if actually if I just use my calc, I would have done that for me by itself. Yeah, I know. It wouldn't no, make I a difference. Can, yeah. Flip the current. Yep. <laughs> So now we know what I sub 1. So I sub 1 as a, I sub 2 as a function of time. I sub 1 as a function of time. I sub 1 is what? 2 cosine 10 t. I sub 2 as a function of time. It's 2. I can see that when you write it here, maybe. Instead of saying minus 180 or plus 180, it doesn't make a difference. 180 is 180, plus or minus. Same angle. So now you want to find the energy here. Again, 1 half L1. L1 is 0.4. I sub 1 squared. 2 cosine 10 T squared. Plus 1 half I, uh, L2, which is 2.5. Times the current through that, which is... 2 cosine 10t plus 180 squared plus the mutual inductance, which is what? 0. 0.6 times I sub 1 times I sub 2. And if you want it at zero, that's what they're asking for. What was the value at zero? It's one half point four.
cosine of zero is one squared, that's a one, times four, that's a four now. One half times 2.5. times cosine of 180, that's minus 1, square it. What's minus 1 when you square it? 1, that's a 4, plus 0.6 times 2 times cosine of 0, which is 1, which is 2. This is a minus 1 times a negative 2. That's point 0.8, the first one. 2 times 2.5. That's a 5. That'll be a minus. 4 times 0 0.6, 4 times 0 0.6, 2.4, 3.4. Oh, wait a minute. I said 2 is not uh, 2. Yeah, it'd be 2. 0. 0.48, isn't it? Point four eight. I'm going. Why is the number wrong? Point four eight. I just did that here. What was I sleeping? Let's see what the numbers are. What's 0.48 when you square it? 0.48 squared. 0 0.2304. And this is negative 0.48. I fell asleep. It's too early. It's too early for this class. Point 0.5 times 2.5. I don't even have my coffee yet. I had two sips. And that will be minus 0. 0.6 times 2 times negative 0.48. Negative point five seven six point eight plus point two eight seven five minus point five seven six point five one two. Is that the answer? Yep. yep. Point five one two joules.
Now, the one question came up, made me think about it. I'll come back. And that is, you said, you don't like to use the minus sign, the 180. So what happens if you decide not to do that? What about if you decided to make the current go in this way instead of that way? You won't have the minus, you'll have the plus. Well, if you decide to do that, this equation, what is it? This equation about the energy, if both currents entering the dot or leaving the dot. So both currents have to be to enter the dot for that to be a plus. So if one enters the dot from this end and one does not enter the dot, the undotted dot sign has to go to minus. Otherwise, your number will not match. Because so for M. That equation to work out, you need both currents. It's going to be entering the dot or both leaving the dot. So if, I, if both were coming from this end and that end, that equation is still going to be a plus here. But if one enters a dot and one enters the undotted, that sign has to be a minus. So just for that specific equation, we're going to want to make sure that that's the case. Well, you can. Or what well, you could do, what Omar said, he said, you know what? I'm going to change this to the equivalent linear value we did last time. So here's Omar's suggestion. I'm going to redo the problem. And he's going to redo the problem. He said, oh, I don't like what you did there. Just gonna make sure I don't mess up the pages, keep them together. Here's my problem. So this is Omar's method of doing it. So Omar, you're gonna go on record now. Two cosine ten t. Three. The dot for the first one, the top, I keep, for some reason, I keep putting on the bottom. The second one, the dot on the bottom. And this is the mutual, which is 0 0.6, Henry. This is the 2.5, Henry. Now, which way you want the current? If you remember, where's my red marker? You want the current both going on the, the same direction? Both this way or going this way, both clockwise? Yeah. Yeah. Omar wants them both to be clockwise. Because then they're so then they're both entering the dot. Is that how to so Omar opted to go with both entering the dot. So I'm going to replace this with the um, T equivalent. And I'm going to take the circuit, take that. I'm going to chop it here and chop it here and replace these two with the equivalent value. The equivalent value for that will be L minus M. L1, yes, thank you. This will be M. And this will be L2 minus M. So this is the equivalent. Then I, could, I can add my wire right there. L2 minus M. Each one. More coffee, more coffee, please. <coughs> I only had just a little bit so far. I need to drink more. <laughs> I was late, too. I got up at 4 a.m. So let's convert that. Uh, well, what's L minus M? 0.4 minus 0 0.6. That's a negative 0.2, Henry. Negative. L2, 2.5 minus the 0 0.6, 1.9, Henry. And this is 0 0.6, Henry. And we decided Omar wanted both currents to be going the same direction. So let's change them to phasor. 
two angle zero three this will be j omega l j omega l negative omega 10 10 times 0.2 which is what 2j j omega l 0.6 times 10 6j Nineteen J I know what I sub one, which is two angle zero. So if I can find I sub two, I'm done. If I do a KVL on the outside loop, bless you. If I do a KVL on the outside loop, I'll have 19J times I sub 2 plus 6J times the current going up. What's the current going up? I sub 2 minus 2 angle 0. All of that equal to 0. No mutual inductance. So once you change them to this, that's linear transformation. The mutual inductance is gone. I'm saying treat this just like having three inductors far away from each other. Would that be the case in a real life scenario if you want? If they're far enough, yeah. If K is very, yeah, you can't always. But you're going to pretend like when you, when you look at the circuit now, you pretend like three inductors far away from each other where the coupling coefficient is zero between them. Nope, there's no coupling anymore. So you'd have to like get new inductors to make a new circuit. Correct. Yep. Okay. And now we solve for this. What do we have? We have 19j I sub 2 plus 6j. What's 19j and 6j? 25j. And when you multiply this by that, and I move it to the right side, 2 times 6 is 12. This will be 12 angle 90. J, this is 6 angle 90 times 2 angle 0, 12 angle 90. So to solve for I sub 2 is 12 angle 90 divided by 25j. Well, j is what? That's 90. So the 90s will cancel. What's I sub 2 equal to? 12 over 25, which is 0.48. Now you want to find the energy. One half L I square, right? So for this one, one half L. What's L? L for that. When I find the value is negative point two times I squared. And what is I? Two angle zero. So that's 2 cosine 10t squared plus I'm going to do this one, 1 1.9 so 1 half times 1.9 Henry times the current going that direction which is I sub 2 and that's what, 0.48 cosine 10t squared plus 6j here, let's see, this will be 1 half, not a mutual inductance now, so it's a 1 half times 0.6 times the current down. Well, what is the current down? 
the current coming down it's I sub 2 or I sub 1 minus I sub 2 now if we did the math correctly I sub 2 was 0.48 angle 0 and I sub 1 is what 0.6 if you subtract them that's what 0.12 You want it at zero? Cosine of zero is one, squared, that's one, times four. One half times one point nine times point four eight cosine point four eight squared. Point four eight squared. Point two three zero four. Negative point two or two four. That's point two. That's Henry, the unit. Yep. Henry. Yep, that's a Henry. Sorry, my handwriting. That's I sub 1 minus I sub 2, the current. you got to find the current through that. So I sub 1 pushing down, I sub 2 up that. You don't use the mutual inductance. There is no more mutual inductance. So it's just 1 half Li squared. Yep. Point 0.12 squared is at point 0.144. One half Li squared. Then I just throw in the inductor. That's point two, not a point two four. That's just a Henry, the unit. I think that's a negative point four. Point two three zero four times one point nine times point five. Yep. Point point two. Where'd you get that one from? Point. I one minus I two. Yes. Uh, shouldn't it be two minus? Uh, point Is it two minus? What? I, I sub one minus I sub two. Yep. What's I sub one? Two. Two angle zero. Another one. One point. Oh boy. So it'd be like one point five two. One point five two. And you gotta square it. Maybe I won't put this video up there. Um, 0.2188, and I gotta look at 1.52 squared. Plus point six nine three one two. So let's add them plus point two one eight eight minus the point four, and that is equal to point five one two joules. Same exact answer. I am operating on about an hour and a half sleep. I came home late last night. Yep, had a long drive. I wasn't at the bars or anything. Nope. Didn't go to bar in the last probably 40 years, 30 years. But I came home from my trip late at night. Point five one two. And I got up at four o'clock to make a test for my next class. Have it ready. Like oh. So I went to bed like about 2.30, a quarter of three, and got up at four. I gotta make a test, get up. You went to bed at 2.30 in the morning? Mm -hmm. I came home late, I was away. 
So I'm dragging to there. Okay, so that's the example. Any other uh, questions? Actually, I'll put it on YouTube. Even with all the mistakes I made today, I still put it there. <laughs>